Okay, so now we'll show you the process for a 23 millimeter tag insertion. The fish is now fully anesthetized in the anesthetic bath. The fish will be removed, measured. The tag will be inserted. We will then scan the fish to make sure the tag has successfully been implanted in the fish. Then we'll place the fish into the recovery bath afterwards. We now take our tag applicator. This is the applicator for the 23 mil tag, which is appropriate for this size fish. We have the needle sitting in alcohol. This is pure alcohol to sterilize the needle so we don't inadvertently introduce diseases into the fish. Once the needle's been removed from the alcohol, it's in good practice to rinse the needle again in a very low concentration saline solution. That can remove any of the strong alcohol and make it a little bit better on the fish. We then place the tag itself into the applicator needle like this. Then the needle is ready for Jared to put the tag into the fish. For fish that have scales, sometimes it's useful to use the end of the needle to remove the scales just to make the insertion process easier. Now, it, it doesn't hurt the fish in any way. It's just the same as removing, uh, cutting your fingernail because scales will always grow back once the fish is healed. Code 391. Okay, so now we'll show the process for tagging a fish with a 12 millimeter tag. Slightly different process. Here we use the, uh, actually the tag applicator gun. And these tags here are pre-loaded into the needles so that the tag is already in there. So all we need to do is push the gun down on top of the tag. The whole unit then comes out of the system. It's then a case of placing the needle into the fish. You pull the trigger and the tag is released. So once the tagging process is finished, uh, you have a sharp spin. You just pull this silver trigger here and you can eject the used needle in there. The benefit of this process is that you use a fresh needle every time so there's no need to sterilise the needle between fish. You can just use these needles in sequence and tag the fish. It's actually quite a quick process. So we're getting a, another fish now for a third technique which is a scalpel insertion techniques and uh, it's just another option for doing fish safely. It's the same principle as the needle technique but instead of using the needle we're using a scalpel to make the incision. Let's scrape a few scales away then make a uh, small incision into the body cavity of the fish. There we go. And so now the needle can be placed through that into the body cavity. The important thing here is to note that the tag uh, runs along the fish's body, not up and down. So it must run from tail to head. So as Jared inserts the tag, we'll see that it's, it's running the correct way. The tag through the incision into the body cavity, and you see it's a very clean wound. This is a product which can be used particularly when you use surgery. It's called Vet Bond, or here River Band. It's, it's, a, it's like super glue that you can use for surgical wounds. It's, you just remove it like this, place it over the wound, like that. And that can act as another layer of protection, preventing infection that will set as a hard resin and as the wound heals, it will just fall off and the fish will swim normally. 